don't think I have anything soft to sit on in here. Except for the kittens. Pretty soft. I'm just going to grab a chair real quick. That's my chair, it's not your chair. Well, that's a bit of a lean stretch with this backwards. This is the right side. So I never know which side of this is supposed to be the back and which side's supposed to be the bottom. Okay, uh, let's switch the mic. Check, check, how we doing? Sound good? I'm assuming the sound is good. Um, we might have a little, I mean, it doesn't look like much mailbag, I know, but it might be a little more than we can get through because I really got to cut us off at, at least the regular time, if not sooner, because I still have a lot of cleaning up to do for the new mom cat, and then I have to leave pretty early to make sure that I'm there ahead of time for the transport, um, which is meeting me over an hour from here um, and then, you know, I want to leave like probably two hours in advance. I'll bring some video games. I can sit there and play them all day long while I wait. Um, but uh, I want to make sure I'm there plenty early in case they turn up early. I don't want them to be waiting on me, you know. Uh, so let me just double check what time I was kind of supposed to be there. Uh, <laughs> make sure I know what the plan is. I could have done this, you know, uh, on my own instead of doing it right in front of you guys. But uh, here we are. Uh, so uh, new mom cat, uh, that's the big news, of course. Uh, but not the mom cat that we were expecting. We were expecting this really cute little white mom cat. But uh, she had her babies before she could come to us. So she's being fostered locally instead of uh, making the transport. Okay, 4, yeah, so 4 p.m. And I'm probably going to want to leave around 2. 2 is super early, but that's fine. Like I said, I've got stuff I can do while I'm waiting. And I'd rather be super early than be five minutes late and have whoever's volunteered all their time to transport these kittens so far um, waiting on me. That would just be rude. They don't need that. So, um, so assuming everything goes more or less to plan, I would expect the new mom cat to be coming around six. You'll see her here. Uh, maybe a little bit earlier than that. Maybe a little bit later than that. Once I actually have her, I will let Discord know, and they'll probably put a message up on the screen for everybody. Because um, uh, then I'll have a good estimate of you know when I'll be home, about an hour, hour and a half from, uh, from when I pick her up. The GPS will tell me exactly, and, and we'll have a really good estimate. So, so you'll get warning uh, you know, about an hour before the new mom cat shows up. But I would expect it to be close to 6 p.m. Uh, Kitten Academy time, so 1800 on the screen, um, uh, more or less, you know. Now, let me take a look here and make sure that we have sound working. Um, uh, sound good. Okay, good. I had to scroll back pretty far for that. Okay, good. Uh, so that's nice. The sound's working. So as you can see, we moved the kids downstairs. We did that yesterday in anticipation of the new mom cat that's coming tonight. And um, 
it went really well. They seem to like it. They're still getting used to having things that are new just a little bit. I see Teaspoon's talking to me. Buddy, do you want to come in here and play with some kittens? Come on in, bud. There you go. You're welcome. I don't see why you can't be in here. Um, we moved the kids downstairs. Now, they haven't had access to the living room yet. I've cleaned the living room. It's entirely clean, but I haven't set anything up in there yet. All the furniture's kind of gathered into the middle of the room, and I need to distribute it and maybe put a litter box in there like we used to do. Um, but DJ and I were just discussing it, and we love how these kittens are so easy to see when they're in this room. And once we turn them loose in there, they can, they can be a little dispersed, and none of the cameras... I've, I've had a lot of trouble getting the cameras and everything in the right spot in that room to be really have visible kittens all the time uh, the way that we would like. So uh, it's not that we're going to cut them off from that room. We're definitely going to give them access, but we may not be like 24-7 access like we've done for some previous classes. I think we're going old school. Like even before that, you'll remember that uh, they used to live in this room and just get access to that room sort of during the day when we're watching, but not 100% of the time. And I think that's what we're going to aim for here. So uh, that's fine, too. I mean, we're going to have fun. They'll get plenty of time out. Don't worry about that. Um, I guess that's about it for news, really. So let's open some stuff. We have a letter to start with. And the letter is very cute because on the outside it says, Hello, I am totally fine to read on air live stream with little stars. That's very, that's adorable. So let's do it. If I can, I'm going to try. <laughs> Come on, letter. Okay. Uh, so, oh, wow. On the outside here we have a lovely little, it looks like watercolor and ink maybe. Maybe it's just digital media, because the lines are a little interesting. Uh, it's got a beautiful, floofy cat, though, with birds and flowers. Really lovely, as I think you can see. And on the inside, it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I'm writing to you as I watch the mailbag featuring the Hello Kitty package from Japan. I think that was just last week. I have watched Kitten Academy for nearly four years now and wish it hadn't taken me so long to send you a card. Well, I do love it, though, when we hear from people who've been watching for a long time and are sort of first-time, uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Uh, I, I like it when we hear from people that have been following us for quite a while but, uh, but are new to us. You know, it's, it's fun. So, uh, let, this be a, let this following list of reasons be a warning to all who procrastinate. Um, because of perfectionism. One, I need to hand draw my own cats on a handmade card. Uh, is it? It's not, though. Okay, good. So you got over that. Uh, two, need to draw a KA cat. Well, that's, that's tough. Uh, need to get in better mood towards the world. Oh, boy, can I relate. Need to buy ink for my typewriter. Whoa, old school. Uh, can't find a cool gift or newspaper to send. Well, I know I've said a million times that I, I would much rather get a, just a handwritten letter from anybody. So you, you did it here. Uh, let's see here. Anyway, you just made me laugh so hard with your joke about Teaspoon getting in the Hello Kitty box. Should we send you back to Japan? Wait, I don't know why I said back. Uh, you've never been. Yes, it's true. It made me feel so much better on a bad day, just like KA has been doing for me for so long. Thank you for all you do. Love you all from Washington State. I have a tabby boy of 16 months and a tuxedo girl of 9 months. Uh, Theo the tabby is growing used to his new sister's massive tuxitude. Her name is Fena, and while Theo is a thoughtful theologian, very nicely done, Fena just finds everything quite fine and fantastic. She loves flowers in the folk music forests, and she foresees the future frequently. So, sending so much love to all at KA from Mara and family. Mara, uh, Theo, and Fena, uh, thank you so much for writing to us. I really do appreciate it. It's a very cute card. That's uh, it's completely adorable. And um, I'm glad that, that we are still able to, you know, sort of help uh, people feel a little better about their day. I do try. I know... Um, the last couple, it seems like years, have been kind of tough um, on our end, and, and I try to avoid getting too much of that on stream, but it also feels like we're finally seeing that light at the end of the tunnel, like we're, we're coming out um, strong, and things, things are really starting to feel better around here. So that's a positive thing, and I hope that, that the trend continues in that direction. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's keep rolling here. 
I don't even know where to start with all of this fun looking stuff here. Let's just grab something here. Uh, this is from Mishi. And, oh, uh, so the green knife, I know I put it in my pocket after last week's mailbag because uh, I found it there unexpectedly. And then I, I set it out so I would have it for this week's mailbag. And I can't find it now. I don't. I, I know I saw it like a dozen times over the week. Like, oh, there it is on my desk or something. But I checked my desk. I don't know exactly where I did where it finally ended up. Hey, hey, be good, Sky. I know Sky sometimes starts in trouble with with little teaspoon. Come on now. He's just having fun in here. He can play with your kittens. Maybe we should send you out for mailbag. What do you think about that? Teaspoon, you don't have to hide, buddy. I'll take care of her for you. Okay, so this is from Mishi. Ooh, a t-shirt. And it's, uh, I like this natural color. I don't have too many sort of natural tone t-shirts. I don't know if you can tell. It's not white. It's sort of off-white. It says, Cat Loaf, freshly baked, just for you. 100% cute with an adorable little cat, like an old-timey ad. Um, And I love the fonts, too. are very, uh, I think, maybe sort of 60s, 70s style. Um, hard to tell from upside down, but very, very cute. I, I know I asked this before, this, this style of star, the little four-pointed rounded star like that, that I think of being sort of mid-century, um, modern. I wonder if there's a name for this particular, uh, design. Uh, I'll have to find out. I've always thought that was kind of cool, but that's that's a that shirt is so cute. I mean, it's really cute. I am looking forward to wearing that. As you can see, for picking up our new mom cat, I am wearing uh, our good luck pregnant mom cat shirt. Although uh, I may end up getting so sweaty trying to clean the room for her that I end up changing before we get her. Still, good luck either way, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, moving right along. Mishi, that t-shirt is really cute. I, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Oh, wow. This is a big bag of those same cat toys that we got um, last week with the dragon. Was it last week? The week before with the dragonflies that are so fun? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. So that's a total of eight. And we know one was for Skylight. That's just one short of having one for each kitten, though, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I didn't miscount. Seven. Also, um, I there's not a note, I don't think. There's definitely not a note hiding in there, so I don't know exactly what's going on with this. But uh, thank you very much to whomever sent these. They will definitely be appreciated by the kittens. I know uh, they're going to have a good time. And if at least one set gets adopted together, which is very likely, then we've got plenty here. Or maybe there's another one coming or it doesn't really matter. Everything there is fine. It's fine. Um, let's keep rolling. This is from Hell's Dells. All right. You've been sending a lot lately and that's great. Wait, no, I'm thinking of uh, our other international correspondent, Charlie. Um, let's see, when was the last Hell's Tales package? You'll recognize it from the Fruit Stripe packages, the Fruit Stripe gum. Do you have Fruit Stripe gum overseas? I don't know if you do. Uh, it's, um, I don't even know if we still have it here. All I remember about Fruit Stripe is I love the flavor of it, but it only lasts about five seconds. And then it's just flavorless, awful chewing gum. Uh, but uh, for five seconds, it is really good stuff. <laughs> okay. Hi, Chris, DJ, cats, and kittens. Gifts for the eight kittens, a separate package for Sky, and a few for deployment. Ooh, and chocolate for your stash. The crunchy is caramel. The curly whirly is caramel. What is, is that say curly whirly? I guess we'll find out. Um, is caramel yum? Okay. Love Helen Hells Dells. Yes, thank you very much. We also have a postcard here from the Lake District, which is beautiful with mountains and lakes. It says, I got this postcard when I went away for a few days. I stayed in Ambleside. Um, so we have Coniston, Derwent Water, Grasmere, Ambleside, and Ullswater. Bonus on Windsmere. 
All right. Uh, in Manchester, our water comes from, uh, for the Lake District. It's about an hour, 45 minutes drive from my house. I see. So there we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful country there. Okay. This says Sky. That's you, kiddo. Yes, you can look, but uh, I think you're going to save these for later. Let's see. Okay. Oh, so here we have a little bit of Old Britain. We got um, Chase and Catch Mouse. Pull my tail and watch me run. Oh, look at that. Pull my tail. Ah, that's cute. It vibrates. It's got an adorable little face and these ears that stick up. And then we have, oh, the good stuff. We've got, uh, let's see, this is a silver vine ball with a catnip ball inside of it. And then these are, oh yeah, this one's a lure that goes on the end of a wand, and I see it's definitely working. Uh, but it's got a little tiny loop, and I like the way that they finished this here. It's very pretty. And then we have one of the classic triangle-shaped real fur mice. Oh, I know. These are also super cool, but I just brought you a real two real fur toys leftovers this morning for you to play with. Where are they? I see one being played with over by the litter box. Oh, and the other one is being jealously guarded inside the tube. All right, I guess they're both taken, but let's save these for your endowments, okay? We've got some that are for deployment sitting around already. There might even be some more in here, but I know we've got some. There's even one I know I left in the other room for when they get over there. Um, so this is Sky, and it's nicely labeled. All right. Eight fur balls and mice. All right. Well, that's also nicely labeled. Let's just take a quick look here. Oh, yeah, the good stuff. So these are, as advertised, we've got little balls, and we've also got little mice with tails. And uh, there's at least one here that's got a little leather tail. Very, oh, this is some, this is the high value cat toys. Because uh, I've said it before, Lennox, no matter how you feel about there being real fur cat toys, the cats feel very positively about that existing. So I completely understand people being a little bit like, ugh. But we try not to think about it. It's just fun for the cats. Okay, this one says deployment. So I guess there's only one thing to do for that. Is it, hi, yes, do you, do you want this? I see, you, and now you, can you guys even see that with teaspoon in the way? Teaspoon? <laughs> Teaspoon, you gotta move, buddy. Yeah, you got you gotta move out of the way. Oh, oh, there's two, and these are nice. Okay, so this one is a little flattened out fur ball. I don't know why it's so flat. And this one is the one that she wants, but we're gonna save it because it's got a little tiny loop on the front, and we will use that for a wand toy time. But this one you can have right now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, she's usually so nice, but she's very excited, so she got my finger a little bit there. Okay, I'm going to put this one in my pocket, and uh, we will get it out when we have a wand to play with. Oh, but for now, she got exactly what she wanted. Okay, perfect. For deployment from the Lake District. Oh, you got us a little something while you were on a holiday. Huh? Oh, look at that. Now the kids just took it away from her. Sky, I'm sorry. Here, hang on, buddy. Oh, Gabe, why don't you go get one of your own? That was your mom playing with that one. Oh, oh, you got fur in your eye. Okay, I see you, Winky. All right, we got it. <laughs> She's going to roll herself into a pretzel. Okay, oh, oh, wow, okay. Good times. Oh, these are fun, these are fun. This is unusually large for being one of this design of mouse. Uh, I like the little rainbow, of course. And then we have a sort of a Christmassy, peppermint, uh, stripey mouse there. And this one, I've never seen one like it. It's a Charlie ball, but it's also got ribbons sticking out of it, if you see that. That's going to be a big winner, I bet. There we go. And we'll just put these guys out right now, too. Um, like I said, this is a design of mouse that we have, you know, like boxes of, but not in this size. This is about twice the size of the regular little mouse. I'm surprised there's not one sitting right here for me to show comparison. Uh, but that's all right. Okay, I'm going to put those right in the basket for now, and the kittens will drag them out. And I'm going to put those little labels, actually not in my pocket, I'll put them over here. There we go. Okie dokie, there's still more here. Miscellaneous for endowments. Let's see what we're looking at. Hi. <laughs> you going to open some of those ahead of time? All right, go right ahead. Don't let me stop you. Um, here we have a pitfall, but with feathers. 
Oh, I see. A pretty, uh, let's see, uh, like a selection of sort of classic cat toys. We've got the little plastic cage. We've got some plastic jingly balls. Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, we've got a... Oh, uh, sort of a Christmas atom. This is like a football shape. I haven't seen this one before. Oh, and it's got some high-pitched little rattle in it. Uh, this adorable little felted mouse with a cutie smile on his face. Oh, hi. Okay, but that's for later. That's for later. Why don't you try this one? She wants to play, but the kids keep stealing the toy she really wants. And then we have this is like the exactly like the Loganberry mice, but smaller. So we got one that's like a regular toy but bigger, and one that's like a regular toy but smaller. And then we have. Oh yeah, the Maggie Classic. This one's got a loop on it too to go on a wand, but these are the ones that are like that little bee toy that Maggie loves that are, uh, what's that technique from fly fishing um, where you floof everything out a little bit. She's gonna love that. And then we have a Webex banana, and this one is, it says it's called Cute Banana, and it is cute because he's got a smile and he's got little legs for some reason. So uh, that's something, <laughs> it's very, it is cute. It's as advertised. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Let's put all these back in here for endowments. Perfection. Hells, thank you very much for those. And now, next, eight balls. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, they're still in packaging inside the bag. Let's see. What does that mean? Oh, I see. They're big felted balls. Look at that. Those are fun for kitties, for sure. It's a great size, too. They're going to have a lot of fun throwing these around. And I'm sure their mom would like them, too. So that's one for each kitten. Thank you very much. I'll put those right back in there for endowment. And then one last package for the kittens, unlabeled this time. Hmm, what is this? Ah. Oh. Oh, this is good stuff. So there's nine of these, so I'm assuming that's kind of for endowments, one for each cat and one for mom. But this is <laughs> this is silver vine, but it's also silver vine that's got feathers stuck in the end of it, which is really good stuff. And it says on the back, your pet can eat this toy. This chew toy combines the irresistible scent of silver vine with the stimulating texture of real feathers, making it a hit with cats and providing a healthy outlet for their chewing instincts. Safety instructions. All right, good. Uh, please check if the item is not molded, M-O-U-L-D-E-D, -E molded or otherwise spoiled. Uh, that's the wrong spelling of molded, though, isn't it? Maybe that's how you spell it over there for that? I mean, I don't even know if we would say molded. We'd say moldy, wouldn't we? Uh, interesting. All right, that's fun, though. And then finally, this wrapped up must be a something for us. Ooh, it does say curly, whirly, squirrelies. Okay, who knew? Uh, and they appear to be little wormy shaped, uh, well, caramel chocolates, like you say, caramel filled. And then this one is twirl bites. And it looks to me like it's an aerated chocolate, uh, which makes it a little bit lighter. Yummy, it's making my mouth water just looking at this stuff. Um, I have been very good about my diet, and I'm very proud of myself. Things are going fantastic. So uh, I will put that in my stash to be consumed in due time. There we go. All right, I want a box to start putting these endowments into, so let's open this next. This says, well, it only says Kitten Academy on the outside. Oh, can you hear that growling? You probably can't because we're all mic'd up over here by me. Hey, come here, Gabe. Gabe, you got to move out of the way of the camera. Okay. Uh, Marsh is carrying around one of those, I think it's the new fur toy and growling. And I do call this the growling game where they get the high value toy and then they just carry it around and guard it and growl. I think that's the entire game, really. Oh, all right, here we go. So, uh, this is Fuzzy Tail Catnip Toys, pack of three. Oh, I think I know which ones these are. These are the ones that are like a marshmallow toy, 
um, but uh, like a kicker. And there's one of them in our bedroom upstairs that has been super popular with everybody. I think even Teaspoon likes it. Yes, that's exactly what these are. So these are great. Um, I'll just show you there. You can see there's three of them in here and they are like marshmallow toy textured uh, catnip kickers. And they're crinkly. And it turns out that they are a big hit. The one up, like I said, the one in the bedroom gets constant use uh, from everybody. Then we also have, oh, let's see, oh, there is a note. The note says, these cat pillows are for skylights endowments. Okay, let me grab a pen so we can label it. Thank you for being a fantastic mama to both your own and Cuddles kittens while still being a kitten yourself. I wish you all the best in your new home from Laura Kitten Fan. All right. Okay, skylight. There we go. That'll be perfect for her endowments. And then we have, uh, please send one wand toy with skylight. The remaining four go to Kitten Academy to use as Mr. A sees fit. Oh, thank you very much. So these are the good wands that tend to last a very long time, but I have learned that they do not last forever, um, as I have previously claimed, as we have broken quite a few of them lately. And I had been keeping them around. Now, this is interesting. There's an extra little thing in here, though. Oh, there's some bonus wands. Uh, I'll show you. I'll open one up and I'll show you. But what I was going to say is I had been keeping the broken ones around with the, the intent of, like, repairing them for, for more use. And then I realized I just I never get to it. And they're better off if I just get rid of them and get new ones. I hate to be... I hate to do that. Like, I feel so guilty just taking something and, that could be fixed and instead of fixing it, throwing it away and buying a new one or getting something new. I, it makes me feel like I've failed in some way when I do that, but I'm trying to make peace with it because a lot of times it's, it's not only way more efficient and cost effective, it's also like the only thing I'm ever going to have time to do. So I've, I've really got to sort of get over that. Um, and I've been working on it. So my point was, I've saved a whole bunch of these wands to be repaired, and lately I've just been throwing them out. Like, okay, I'm never going to get to that. And I think we're down to just one or two that are still workable. Um, but they are the good wands, and now I've got a nice uh, selection of them. Thank you very much for that. But look at that. This is what I was seeing, is there's these little short, just one-off wands in here, too, that have a long ribbon on it. And that's not like the rainbow toy that you're used to seeing that's made of out of a long strip of polar fleece. This is a legitimate rainbow ribbon. And there's two of them in each of these. And you can see it's a hit. <laughs> in fact, they're not going to let go of it long enough for me to put it back away. All right, I'll probably leave that out and put it in their drawer. Of course, they can't play with this ribbon unsupervised, but there we go. Oh, I feel like I'm ready for a... Uh, I know I've mentioned this reference before. Get in shape, girl. Does anybody remember that? It was a line of toys when I was a kid that uh, featured a, a wand with a ribbon that, uh, that I guess you could use to sort of exercise. If uh, I think that was the name of it, wasn't it? Oh man, such a long time ago. That is a that is a reference that very few of you are hopefully going to get. And if you are, uh, congratulations on all of your aches and pains. All right, <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's a fun one. All right. Good job standing right in front of the camera there, PJ. You did win the growly game, I can see. You're still playing. Okay, uh, kids, don't run off with that while we're having mailbag, all right? So one of these I have to label for Sky, and the rest of these are, I guess, I'll, I'll leave this one out to be used right now since I already opened it. That's only fair, right? And then this uh, I will label for Skylight. And then the other ones, I'll just write the letters K-A on each one. And then I, I, if I remember, I will know that they weren't actually intended for, uh, necessarily for endowments. That doesn't mean they won't necessarily end up in endowments. But uh, thank you so much. Like I said, this is something that it turns out we've been going through a bit. So these came at a perfect time. They will get use here. Um, yeah. All right. Let's keep going, but now I have some place I can put all of this, so let's do that too. Let's put all these right in here. There we go. Along with all the other wand accessories. Perfection. One more of these. Nope, one more behind that. Okay. 
good, good, good. All right, this is cute because it's got little stamps of hearts and envelopes and kitten stickers on it as well. And if I can find my knife here. You got my toe, buddy. How'd you get my toe? Oh, uh, open this end, and I opened the opposite end. All right, good job, me. Uh, I even saw that earlier when I was putting the tape over these things. I saw that it said, open this end. Um, but all right, that's fine. Look what we've done. Uh, so let's pull this stuff out and see if we can... F oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's a fun one. All right. You guys have never, I don't think you've ever seen this toy before. I know I haven't. Um, but let's start with a note that was clearly all the way at the open this end. And it says, okay to read on stream. Oh, oh, uh, haha, I got the ribbon now. I saw one second when nobody was actually biting on it. Oh, fun times. Okay. So our card is an adorable little floofy kitten with a basket of apples. Uh, as you can see, that's very cute. Oh, and there's even more art inside, and I love this. Oh, I love it so much. It is a drawing of a teaspoon, and you've really captured his little smile. It is so perfect. Oh, there's two drawings of teaspoon. These are spectacular. Teaspoon, buddy, it's you. Look at that. This is from Alex, who is six years old, and this one is from Owen, who is eight years old. Those are the... Look at these. They look just like you, don't you, buddy? What do you think, Teaspoon? You think they look just like you? I do. I can totally tell how... And you can see he's very happy about being here at the Academy. He's got his little ears up, just like a Teaspoon. Alex, Owen, thank you so much for these. I am going to treasure them. Uh, and the note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, our family has been watching the stream for a couple of years now, and we absolutely love what you do for all the cats. Watching the kittens brings us such joy and happiness. In the package are some goodies for the cats to distribute as you see fit. Also included are some drawings from our boys of their favorite, Teaspoon. I cannot wait to show these to DJ. She is going to flip out. It's fantastic. Thanks again for taking such wonderful care of all the cats and kittens from Rachel, Matt, Owen, and Alex. Oh, thank you very much. I'm going to put this right in my pocket so that when I go upstairs, I can show it to DJ. And uh, let's see now the toys that you have sent. Uh, so first off, we have this flaming meteorite, and he's got a very surprised look on his face, too. I would also be surprised. Uh, we have a, oh, I thought it was a lemon, but it's not. You flip it over, there's a planet here. So those are very on theme for this room. I think we should just put them both in the room right now. There we go. You guys can keep an eye out for those. Our flaming meteorite and planet in our room full of space toys. All right, toss them over there for the moment. Now we have a pop-up pod, and those are so great. And this one's covered in beach balls. Um, I'm not going to put this one out quite yet, but these are also wonderful for cats to jump into and play. Uh, you've sent some applause puree variety pack, and these are sort of like churros, but they're made by the applause brand, which is uh, what half of what Teaspoon eats every day. We make him our own chicken that we make here, and then we take the applause brand. Uh, they've got this fish with seaweed in it that it says right on the tin is not a complete meal. It's more of a, like a topper, but that's what we do. We put it together with his chicken, and, and that's what he eats. So I bet he will like all of this, too. This is chicken, tuna, and salmon flavored. A uh, little pure variety applause. Uh, churus. Very cool. Uh, finally, this is the thing that amused me so much when I opened the package. It is a great big whale, and he's eating three little fish that are... Um, I guess detachable. They're currently attached. I don't want to necessarily take them off quite yet. But look at how cool he is. He's got this big mouth. And then there's these three little fish that can fit all in there. You can tuck them way back in for the kitties to try to, try to find and pull out. 
Very cute. The fish are adorable, but this whale just makes me laugh. He is his big old mouth, like whoa. That is really, really cool. Uh, they're going to have a lot of fun with that too. For now, I'm going to put that right here in with the uh, box of stuff to go downstairs along with this. But um, I'm pretty sure those will get seen around here at some point. Oh, also, this should go in that box. All right. That is wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm, that, like I said, I cannot wait to show Teaspoon's little drawings uh, to DJ. She is going to love those. I know I do. Hey, buddy. All right. You want to play with this, don't you? Oh, but it's currently, there we go, so occupied. That's a fun one, huh? All right. Okay, put that back down. How are we doing for time? Halfway there? I think we can make it through if we're, uh, if we're quick about it. So let's see if we can. This is very heavy, and it is a recycled Amazon um, bag, which I think is really next level. That's great. Open with care and a little kitty cat smiley face on it. All right, well, we will open it with care. Um, and uh, I think Teaspoon may be sitting on my knife now. Don't worry, it's not like, you know, it's got a blade on it or anything that he could be injured by, but it means I can't get to it, so I'm not going to try. Let's see if I can open it some other way, um, like by finger or uh, with a backup knife if I have to. I should probably move that bird out of here. Okay, there we go. We got it. A note right on top and then some... A lot of textiles in here, but I don't know exactly what we're getting at. So let's see. Oh, I think you wrote me about this. I'm so glad. Thank you. Uh, it says, okay for the live stream. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, please find enclosed carrier covers for your use or as you see fit. Thank you for all of your work with the mom cats and kittens from Teresa Lee, who is Teresa T on Discord. Teresa T, thank you. You did message me to tell me that you had sent some cat carrier covers because I had mentioned um, that our second to last one left with cuddles. And I wouldn't expect to see it again. So um, you made me some replacement ones. And oh, look at that. That is perfect. It's so cool. And it's like galaxy cats too. Somebody's going to think this is awesome. I'll tell you, there hasn't been, uh, I mean, almost every time that I go to the vet with the cat covers on the carriers, somebody says, oh, that's such a great idea. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, it is such a great idea. <laughs> so um, uh, thank you so much for that. And I love this print. It's like a real wild, oh, it's even got a unicorn cat on it. I see. I didn't notice the unicorn horn. I just noticed the sort of space, like psychedelic space pattern. And I think all of them are the same, but you have stuffed this bag full of them. Let's see. Actually, this looks like it can't possibly be. Oh, oh, you sent a bag to put them all in. I didn't realize that either. How cool is that? That's perfect. I will put, I'll just use this bag for them and that way I'll always know where they're at. Oh, that's ideal. Thank you. And I can see it's stuffed full of uh, one, two, three, four of these, perhaps. That's a great number. That'll keep us going for a long time. Oh, Teresa, thank you very much for the cat carrier covers. I love it. That is wonderfully valuable for us. And I just, I love the print you selected. It's just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Okay. Hi. Oh, okay. Gabe was biting on this thing so hard he didn't want to let go of the box. That's an unusual one. Okay. Hi, buddy. Oh, okay. Thank you. Now I can definitely use... Oh, he wants to check out those cat carrier covers. You got to sniff them, huh? Can you smell somebody on there? Is Teresa T. have a cat? Yeah, okay, he was just checking it out. Wanted to see what the new thing was. I guess I didn't show him well enough. Sorry, buddy. My bad. Okay, let's see. We've got a note to start with. The note says, Treats for humans. Diet-friendly treats for humans. I like that. Some black tea I think is tasty even without sugar or milk. Perfect for me. 
Thank you for sharing the Academy with us from Jessica in St. Louis. I think that's what STL means, right? Yeah, no, I'm going to go with that. Uh, let's see. So treats, diet friendly treats. So I mentioned that I like black tea and I've been uh, wanting to try to drink more of it instead of more diet Coke. So I'm assuming that's why you decided to send us some. This looks like some fancy stuff too. So, oh, this is just black tea. Oh, uh, in, uh, with fruit pieces, lemon and lime twist. Oh, that sounds really good. I do like a, a little bit of a fruity tea. And this is Vanilla Tranquility with Vanilla Pieces. Oh, see, that does sound right up my alley. And finally, a third one. Wild Blueberry. Black tea, blueberries, and natural flavor from the Republic of Tea. Hey, buddy, is that where you're from? Oh, where is he? He's over there. You want to? Are you from the Republic of Tea? You want to visit there? I bet you do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, those look really good. I'm excited to try them all. Oh, thank you, and for helping me out, uh, not only with my diet, but with my plan to try to try to drink a little bit less of the caffeinated Diet Coke stuff and a little bit more maybe tea or something. Uh, thank you very, very much. All right, uh, why am I trying to organize this right now? Now is not the time. Let's keep rolling. Actually, I can use your box to put all this stuff in that's going to go with us. There we go. That's a good plan, isn't it? Yes, it is, Other Berry. Okay. <laughs> um. So this box you guys have been looking at, you can see it's got all those really cute cat stickers on it. They look like sort of classic... Um, Real classic art. I can't use this one to open it because it's taped all the way to the corners. I'm going to have to get out a, a more powerful option. What have we got? Aha. Real ultimate power. This is a box cutter, but it's got a little safety on it, so it can only open just far enough to cut the cardboard. I like that. There we go. Hi. Okay, there we go. I hear somebody's still playing the growly game over by the litter box. Oh, now it's hot chocolate. They've all been trading off. Ah, Luderu knife guard, and it is a little cat sitting like Custeru on his back. Um, there, this is uh, the the drawing of him is a wonderful little drawing, but it does look a little lewd actually. That is adorable. <laughs> Ludaru knife guard. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so in here we have some tissue paper. Oh goodness, we'll find plenty of use for that. Here is the note. It doesn't say the note, but we know it's the note. So, oh, now it says the note on the inside. The note, okay to read on stream. Perfect. Those are like magic words for us. Uh, hello to you, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope you are both doing well and that you, Mr. A, are feeling much better by the time this arrives. Uh, I am, by the way. I, you hear me coughing a little bit. Uh, that's just leftovers. I'm feeling much, much better. Uh, I'll be brief, but I can't get over how attached I've become to these two adorable classes. I'm even tearing up as I write their names on the carrot tags. Well, I guess that gives away everything. Oh, I didn't see the carrots underneath the tissue, but now I do. Um... Um, I also, I just brought a carrot down, but I left it in the other room for them for when they get into the living room, the one that they had upstairs. I'm sure everyone watching knows exactly what I mean. Enough said. Uh, anyway, I've included a few goodies with your diet and new tea habit in mind. How about that, everybody? Very supportive. Thank you. The Lady Grey tea is my absolute fave. I have it iced every morning. Some sugar really brings out the flavors in it, especially the citrus. Oh, now that sounds fantastic. And um, iced, yeah, iced tea would definitely be a thing that I could get into. I just have to figure out how to sort of make it strong enough, I think. Uh, I'll work it out. I'm sure there's instructions online. Congratulations to Joe and Halfers and Moose Little so far on becoming the lucky adopters to Skylight and Joist. Yes, we do. Uh, we have heard that Skylight and Joist have adopters. 
Um, your, and there are people that we know on our Discord, so that's uh, wonderful. Your long list of duties include daily updates on Discord alumni, as well as giving them hugs and kisses from me every day. Thank you so much for caring for all these babies, including all the poop, and for grabbing cuddles and their kids so and her kids so suddenly. What a huge difference in their lives that quick decision is made for them, as well as their future aduders. Cuddles reminds me so much of my minx, who also is a spicy, green-eyed tabby girl. Uh, after a year, we are still trying to get her fully integrated with Max and Lily, but she has become a drooly cuddle bunny for me. I know Cuddles will too. I've included her carrot and hope she's still there when it arrives. Thank you again for all you do for kittens and their moms and for including us in it all. Happy summer from Carrot Palooza at Al. Uh, thank you so much, Carrot Palooza. You know, I was thinking about you the other day, just uh, out of the blue, and how you have made your Discord name Carrot Palooza after that first sort of incident with the carrots and far too many carrots arriving here. And I just love it when somebody just really leans into uh, something like that. I was thinking about how. Um, Somebody, you know, could have been embarrassed by that. Like, I think that's sort of the response that I've typically had when I do things like that and send some carrots and then way too many show up and I would have just, you know, I just would have let pass me by. But it's so much more fun uh, when, when somebody really sort of, uh, like I said, leans into the, the joke and uh, makes it a thing. It's, it's, it's fun. So here we have a beach scene pop-up card, presumably for the little kittens to play with. Uh, and it's got two little beach chairs with, looks like iced teas. And uh, one of them is reading a book and the book has a little ca uh, can of cat food with a kitty on it on the cover of the book. So it's clearly uh, a book being read by cats, perhaps a cat uh, cookbook. That's what I'm gonna go with. That is adorable. Uh, I've not been such a big beach bum lately, but it has been basically the only place I've been out to so far this year, and uh, I loved it so much. I want to start doing more of that, too. Uh, in fact, DJ and I just bought a new beach umbrella to use, and I saw she had put it in my car, so soon enough, uh, we may be uh, making this beach scene a reality again. Okay, uh, more tissue paper from Carrot Palooza. We got some fresh pineapples here for our mom cat. Look how shiny these are. It's a pineapple banner, and it is extremely shiny. Maybe I can hang this up to welcome the new mom cat. Oh, and some really cool uh, pineapple stickers that are like a, like a stained glass window. The little lines of the pineapple stand up. They're made of a different, like, puffy material. And then the pineapple itself is sort of the background of that. It's very cool. Um, what else do we have in here? Oh my goodness, there's a lot. Well, first off, let's take a look at the carrots. Uh, I don't know if we have to show every single carrot, but I love the little tags that you have made for these. This one is for pajamas, as everyone can see. And I love the little felt carrots uh, that are on each and every one of these. And they say, with much love from the Carrot Palooza Gang. Um, and you have included, uh, as you know, one of these for each and every kitten and mom cat here. And they are going to love them. They make good kickers. So uh, I know that they will. Uh, but there's more in here. There are, oh, butter cookies. I'm just going to say butter cookies made in France. And then uh, vanilla wafers. Ooh. Uh, also made in France, so that's the fancy stuff. This is, oh, tattoos, temporary tattoos of cats. Not just cats, but party cats. Uh, we've got a little pink cat, a little cyan cat with a collar, and a little uh, color point uh, kitty, like a Siamese. Those are all pretty normal, and then the other three cats are two orange cats and a tuxi that are all wearing party hats. Oh, there's even more. There's some just plain old cat faces with cute expressions. That's fun. Temporary tattoos. I love it. Those are a lot of fun. Uh, I tend to put them on my head because I can. <laughs> uh, you people with hair can't do that, can you? Got one over on you, finally. 
this is Victorian London Fog flavored black tea. Now, does that mean um, it is the flavor of London Fog? I have to wonder. Uh, London Fla Fog flavored black tea. Well, over here it says with hints of vanilla and lavender, but it does say this blend evokes the aroma of a London Fog with hints of vanilla and lavender. So I guess we'll have to try that out. There we go. I will notice that New England uh, really earns its name with this, this weather that is so wet and foggy here very frequently. So I think that we have that experience. Also, we have the Lady Grey, as promised, with bergamo. Is that how you pronounce that? I guess. And lemon flavors. Fantastic. All right. I am definitely going to be uh, up to the gills in tea. This is a very patriotic kitchen towel that you have sent that combines uh, the American flag in every sort of variety along with cats. They're all celebrating, very patriotic celebration. That is also adorable. I can see we've got some ants that have started to come in. Little Marsh is over there investigating one. Oh, he's, he's trying to pet it. You, you can pet it if you want to, buddy. Um, this is this is fantastic. Oh, two and one. Tea towel surface is ideal for drying glassware and reverses to absorbent terry cloth for everyday kitchen tasks. Uh, okay, you can call that two in one, but I really think that's the same thing. <laughs> Am I crazy? I don't think so. Okay, but that's a great little towel. I'm excited about that. Thank you. And just in time for the 4th of July. So, oh, it is. June. No, this is June. Next month is July. I got it. Hey, everybody, I'm okay. I got it. Uh, all right. I can date myself. All right. I just checking to make sure that everything that's still in here is carrots. And in fact, it is lots of carrots. Look at all that. Wow. <laughs> There's so much growling going on over there. Okay, I think this is an envelope, not a note. Yes, it is. That can go back there. Perfect. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee, and then we've got three packages left in 10 minutes. You think we can do it? I think we can do it. We can find a way, everybody, to make this happen. So, package number one. It says Snugglers and Skyscrapers Endowment. Perfection. All right. Snugglers and skyscrapers endowments. So endowments for the kitties. Oh, goodness. Hang on. Well, for a knife, this is really, it's a little too much safety. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. Okay, this is for the endowments. This is a bit of everything. I see. Dropship for Mickey's uh, Pet Supplies. Mickey's Pet Supplies. Really pretty picture of a kitty sitting next to a, a pool here. It says, To all the kitties at the Kitty Academy, we hope you love all the new springs and toy mice. They were sent compliments of Laura. Have an awesome week and thanks for all that you do. From uh, Christina and Crew, I believe. Christina and Crew. There's also a code here. I'm just going to share it with all of you. It says SPRING45 for 5% off your next order. SPRING45 at Mickey's Pet Supplies. They do have some really good stuff. There's, a, I think that they, they used to be the place to go to for the Rosie uh, the Rat toy, like the white one that you can maybe see over there by the litter box, which is a big hit as far as the real fur toys go. So here we have a whole bunch of the classic little rattle mice. And uh, there are a whole bunch of those in here. Classic, classic. These kids are already checking them out. Also, as promised, a whole bunch of springs, which I know are a favorite for these kids because they keep losing the one. Uh, with, he, Gabe's over there playing with one right meow. They keep losing the ones that they have, pushing them under the doors, and I'm finding them everywhere. Uh, so we've got springs. We have these classic rattle mice, classic springs. Then we've got these fuzzy little uh, like beach ball style balls. It's not quite a marshmallow material, but it's similar in that it's got this long fur on it. And there's a whole set of these, one for each kitten in variety of colors. 
Wonderful. And then finally, yes, I guess I was right because this is a bag full of the Rosie the Rat toys. Look at that. Uh, cute little leather and real fur toys that every... Ow, 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 oh, that was with claws. Every cat likes them, as you can see. <laughs> These will be great for their endowments. Laura, thank you so very much. These are perfect for endowments. I'm going to put them back in here with the note. That way I can just put them all into endowments and I will know exactly what's up. Okay. Thank you very, very much. How thoughtful. And I know those uh, the Rosie the Rat toys are, are probably not cheap, but they are beloved. So I know the kittens are going to have a real good time with those. Um, all right. Now I'm going to have to stand up for a second to get the last two packages. They have drifted beyond my ability to reach. And while I'm up, I'm going to put this thing away somewhere safe. Right meow. There we go. Um, Okay, two more packages, five more minutes. I think we're just going to make this happen, all right? We've got it perfectly, just in time. So, <coughs> excuse me. We have another package here from Mishi. Mishi on the Discord has sent... I don't know what that was about right there. I know Teaspoon likes to play with these kittens, but he may be a little overwhelmed now, or maybe they just don't understand... Or maybe he doesn't understand. I don't know. Somebody was upset for a second. Okay. I have made a mess out of this package. I cut way too much of it. I didn't break anything that was inside, but the package itself is a little bit of a mess now. This says, more toys, Mishi 60. All right. Well, that definitely says it all. This is from Al Alpaca Cat. I will not pack a cat, by the way. Everybody has to pick up their cats that they adopt. Uh, no, it's not that kind of alpaca. It's a, it's a, a alpaca, like A L P A C A cat toy store. I guess as you can see right here, uh, alpaca cat. Um, that does not sound right though. So here we have an uh, interesting combination of stickers, very cute cat stickers and cat nip together in the same little package. I can't imagine if those are meant to be used together, how they are meant to be used together. But I do love the stickers. I'm going to put that in with our stuff. And then we have a variety of little tiny uh, felt balls that are everywhere right now. And the kittens are already playing with them. I guess we can leave a few of those out here. Plus, in among the felt balls, there's this little uh, sort of Hello Kitty derivative cat head. And this little guy, who's got a very cute fox, there we go, as you can see. Those are also very cute. They might as well stay out here. Then, um, let's see. Oh, oh, look at that. These are the big ones that they have been playing with this whole time. These have some, some uh, something in the middle of them that makes them substantial. Those are going to be fun. There's a whole bag of, I think they're all those. Yes, they are, in various colors. That's fantastic. Real fur for the kitties. Oh, very, very nice. And is this more of the same? In fact, it is. Uh, oh, man, those are the really, really good stuff. Okay. They are going to love that. It does say alpaca cat, uh, real fur pom-poms. Real fur pom-poms. Uh, I see. Infuse with catnip, please, it says. So that must be what the catnip's for, and the stickers are just a little bonus. So, Mishi, 60, thank you. These are going to be a big hit. And I'm assuming these are also a bonus that the seller just threw in for us, a handful of little cute little pom-poms. Uh, I'm going to put these over here for endowments. Those are going to be a massive hit, I know. So, thank you very, very much. Okay, alpaca cat. I won't, I won't, I won't. Um, okay, right in there. And finally... It says, from Joe and Sky endowments for Skybagger Kittens. Skybagger. I see how you combine these things. Because we got the Sky Light and the Leaf Bag Kittens. Cuddles uh, had her kittens in a leaf bag. Okay, so Skybagger's Kittens from Joe. 
from Joe and Sky uh, because you are adopting Sky. So, some classic toys here and some not so classic. Oh, this is packed full. There is more. Oh, but wait, there's definitely more. All right, let's get it all out and then we can take a look and put it in with the endowments. So, first off, we have these little rattly, uh, plas oh, rattly plastic balls. I'll show you the side that you can see a little better in various colors. And these are always a hit. These are also always the ones that I step on and they shatter into a million pieces. It happens every time. But you can see the kittens love them. So until it gets shattered, that will be a fun toy for them. We have some packages of fun tubes. They need to have the ends turned in to make them super fun. But these are also a big hit, especially with little, um, I was going to call her Poise, but her name is Joyst. Where is she? Oh, she's right here behind me. She was sitting here with a fun tube. Go figure. Here you go. There you go, kiddo. All right, so she loves the fun tubes. She will have a good time with those. Here we got, I don't think they rattle. These are just the little string balls that the kittens are going to love. Um, mm -hmm. Happy little clouds. Very Bob Ross, little happy little clouds, very literally happy little clouds. All right, we've got a handful of those, little happy little clouds, happy little trees. Uh, this is a cow and a parrot. That is an odd combination if you ask me, but we've got a green parrot, a uh, nice little dairy cow right there. We've got two packages of those that are the parrot and cow combination, you know, a classic combination. You always think of one when you think of the other, don't you? Um, we have these other string uh, balls that look like these have a long string sticking off the end of them. That's going to be fun to throw around, I bet. Seems like the kind of thing that um, Loganberry might play fetch with. Uh, curious. Then we have some tiny little fuzzy fake fur mice that are a big hit. The rattle? Yes, they rattle. Rattle mice. And then a package of springs, of course, the classic. All right. That is everything. Joe, Joe and Sky, thank you very much for those. And I'll put those in with the rest of the endowments. Now, I'm going to get this stuff put away uh, just as quick as we can. And then I'm going to get upstairs and continue to clean the room for our new mom cat. I did already kind of start, but I only started by bringing out the toys, which uh, I threw a couple in here and most of them in the next room for when they get into the living room. And I threw out the old litter boxes that were disposable litter boxes. Now they have been disposed. Um, but I still have pretty much everything else to do, starting with some vacuuming, disinfectant, washing the rugs. Um, actually, after that, there's not too much more. I'm going to have to wash the covers on the bean bags and any blankets that are in there. Uh, but I spray down everything with the disinfectant, probably vacuum that pineapple thing that we had a kitten born in. Um, uh, and yeah, I think that sets us on the path pretty well. So I figure I've got about three hours before I should think about hitting the road. And uh, unless I hear otherwise, you know, I could always hear from Dawes that I need to leave early or that they know for sure that I need to leave late. Um, but if I don't hear anything, I'll just plan on sitting out there for quite a while. Uh, thank goodness I've got uh, uh, plenty of ways to bring some games with me to play as I'm waiting. So I will be highly entertained. And as I said, uh, once I've got the new mom cat and I'm ready to hit the road on the way back, I will definitely let everybody know. They are flipping out about those fur mice. Uh, I'll definitely let everybody know uh, what our ETA is as soon as we've got one that's definite. So there we go. Okay. All right. Let me hop right to it. Also, before I forget, let's turn off this mic and get us back on the regular mic.
Mr. A, there is a note between the Dragon Wing toys, but we didn't get Dragon Wing toys this week. We got Dragon Wing toys last week. Uh, didn't we? Am I? Yeah, no, we didn't. We didn't get any this week. Um, I'll have to check for the note. Um, I'll have to find them and, uh, and check for that note later on. I'm sorry that we missed one. Okay, uh, as I was saying, let me get this stuff put up and uh, get back to work, and then uh, we'll be super prepared for a new mom, which is very exciting. As you know, I don't have to tell you it's exciting. You know it's exciting. I guess in some sense it's really pointless to tell something somebody somebody something is exciting. They're either excited and they know it, or they're not excited and it's not exciting. So, so what's the point of ever saying to somebody it's exciting? <laughs> I guess if you're just talking about your own excitement. I'm excited. Okay. This has been a thorough examination of the English language. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm going to have to check this stuff out. Chief Moon, are you ready to go, buddy? You look like you've had enough. Like maybe you bit off a bit more than you can chew coming in here. You want to go, pal? You're looking at the door longingly. Do I go, buddy? I mean, you know, in the sense of, not the literal sense, the, he's like, well, why am I out here now? Okay. Wow, a lot of stuff for us this week, and a lot of stuff for the kidneys. I guess that works out. Again, for those cat carrier covers and the, the case to keep them in, uh, that's very thoughtful. And you must have just jumped right on that as soon as I said I was going to go order some. Uh, you beat me to it, even. Do we have some place I can put tissue in here for you guys to play with for a little while? Kind of? Not really? in the tunnel like I've done in the past, we can see if we can get any to stay in this thing. Let's try to set this up like we did for the other class where I put this into there to try to keep it up a little bit more. This tunnel in the middle has no support on the, the boxy part, but if I put this tunnel in there, Pointed to the camera, that might be something we can work with a little. And I see the tissue paper now, I'm realizing, also very patriotic. Rather than try to put away this bit of tissue paper, we can just use it here. I guess we know what will happen. There's going to be a giant mess of tissue paper in the room. Because that's just part of it.
Fishy tunnel. That's what this is, right? Oh man, that's packed full. They're gonna have to pull some of that out there just to get through it. Rocket to the beach, kids. All right, there we go. around in that tissue. All right, everybody, thanks again so much for everything. I know the kit is really appreciated, the adopters appreciate it, and I appreciate it. So I'm gonna go get us ready. Making sure they haven't just thought of this as a thing to pee on. A little tiny meteorite. That reminds me, I can't wait to go show DJ this card I've got in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> 